So now we got UFO sightings and, and admission to UFOs. We have earthquakes in California. We have a storm approaching the United uh, South Florida. And it's not even winter yet. What's winter going to bring? And you know, winter's coming. Winter's coming. And with that, is that going to wipe out even more industries? Because of right now, we had the coronavirus and it kind of hit us at a time when we were entering summer. It was spring entering summer. But what's going to happen when winter gets here and all that outdoor dining, all those outdoor trainings from Zumba, karate, aerobics, uh, boot camps, when they all have to go inside because it's too damn cold outside. They have to get inside. It's going to destroy the economy even more. Because who can sit outdoors when it's 10 degrees outside? Especially the Northeast. Is there going to be a mass exodus from the Northeast to other to the Southern states? Now, here's something else we haven't spoken about and nobody's bringing up. Yes, we all want a vaccine. We all want a vaccine because that's going to be the cure. And we can get things back to normal and everybody can go back just living our life, you know, hassle-free for the most part without having without having to worry that a deadly virus is going to kill us us or a member of our families so but the rumor is that once you recover from covid-19 and supposedly you get the antibodies you can still get reinfected about 90 days later so if you get a vaccine does that mean that 90 days later, you're going to have to get a booster shot. And then 90 days later, you're going to have to get another booster shot. And then 90 days later, you're going to have to get another booster shot. Nobody's speaking about that. Nobody's saying, hey, once we get the vaccine, that's it. We can all go back to normal. No, nobody's saying, hey, once we get the vaccine, it's not guaranteed that you're not going to be able to catch it six months down the road, three months down the road. Are we going to need to have proof every single time we go out that we got a booster shot? Otherwise, we cannot rejoin society. Tough questions. It's a tough question I'm asking here because I don't know. I don't know how this is going to affect everything. In order for us to get back indoors and get back inside and go back to indoor dinings and indoor trainings and indoor karate and indoor uh, aerobics classes, Zumba classes, whatever it is, indoors, schools, vaccine. Everybody was gone. Oh, hey, school starting, school starting. Even the president was, hey, school starting, school starting, school starting. Miami Dade. School's not starting, at least not for the first month. We're going virtual. So that means it's going to take about a month before we can all go back. No, it's not. How often are you prepared to shoot up your kid in order for him to be able to attend classes? How often are you willing to shoot yourself up so you can rejoin the workforce? Nope, you can't work here unless you have your immunization. Yeah, but I got it. Six months ago. Not good enough, buddy. You need to get immunized immunized within three months. And then we need proof. How about if employers say you need to be immunized every 30 days? Want to work here? We don't know what people are going to come up with. I'm saying 90 days. The rumor is that after you recover from COVID, after 90 days, you can catch it again. But what about they say, nah, 30 days, 15 days. Every 15 days, you need to get a, uh, a shot. Uh, or maybe a... A shot like that, kind of a booster shot. See, nobody's talking about that because everybody's hoping, I'm hoping to, I'm hoping that a vaccine comes around and that's it. Nobody, you're immune, you don't need to catch it again. People get shots every year for the flu and they still catching it. It's a virus. Can't kill a virus. You can suppress it. Chicken pox even comes back in shingles later on in life. It's still in your body. You don't catch the chicken pox, but you can still catch a different strain of it, which I believe is shingles. What's the plan? I don't think anybody knows. And if this shit all goes away when the election is over, then we got played. And that wouldn't be good because I've been speaking to a lot of people and they're saying, no, I think this is all going to go away once election is over. And that's where I think they're mistaken because it's not just happening here in the United States. It's happening all over the world. This is a human thing that's happening. Us humans are getting infected with something. All of us. All us humans. So we're all in this together. And maybe we can get back to normal without getting so many shots if we all just wear a mask. But I'm an American. It's my right. I don't need to wear a mask. I heard Japan is doing really good. They're going back to work. They're doing everything. They all wear masks. The funny thing is that everywhere I go, 
I see everyone with a mask. The only place I'm seeing people without masks is on TV and on social media. That's the only place I'm seeing people without masks. Maybe I'm going to the wrong places. Maybe I'm not going to the wrong places. In order for us to get back into the workforce, in order for us to be allowed back into society, we got to get shots. Our kids got to get vaccinated. And not only that, are we going to have to get booster shots? And how often? And if a vaccine doesn't come around, winter's coming. And when winter comes and we haven't developed a vaccine that's a cure across the board for everything, outdoor dining still going to happen in 10, 9, 15 degree weather? Yeah, I don't think so, man. I see people on social media and all this, and I see them doing their workouts and their trainings outdoors in the parking lots of their, of their space. And I'm like, man. What's going to happen in winter? It's fun now. Man, I enjoy working outdoors, but I live in South Florida. It's nice all year long. Actually gets really nice during the winter. Really, really nice. Now it's just too hot. But when winter comes, it's going to happen in Boston, Ohio, New York, Chicago. It gets cold up there, man. It gets really cold. Outdoor dining is not really feasible. In outdoor trainings are not very feasible when there's a, a, a snowstorm, a blizzard outside. Especially not for kids. At least here in Florida, we can do outdoor schooling. We have these huge schools that they have these huge uh, fields. Put the kids in the fields. Teach them in the fields. Put them outdoors. It's nice throughout the winter. Make tents above them. I mean, shit. Donald Trump is... I, I agree with him on one part. Here's what I agree with. If kids don't go back to school, why am I paying school tax? Who am I paying? Remember, we don't just pay for kids to go to school and learn... We're paying for child daycare because, yes, they're learning, but they're being taken care of in school. So if my child is not going to school, why my tax is so high? I need that money. I'll take that money back. Absolutely. But why don't they use that money and just create tents on these huge fields that spend the majority of the time empty? Put them outdoors. All the kids. Sun supposedly kills the virus on contact. Once the virus gets exposed to the sun, it gets, it's done. Keep the kids outdoors. Put them outside. Teach them outside. Yeah, I know. It's tough. What else are we going to do? Keep them home? Okay, let's keep the kids home. Fair. I agree. Keep the kids home. Give us the money back. Why am I going to pay? Why am I going to pay for that? I, I shouldn't have to pay for that. I totally agree with that. I agree. If they don't go back to school, yeah, we'll take that money back. Give us the, back the money. Why not? Give me back the money. I can use it. I can set up a, a better computer here for my son where he can get better learning. I can use that money to maybe pay for private tutoring. Will everybody do that? No. Maybe some people will go out there and buy some beer. That's fucked up if you do, though. You shouldn't do that. You should invest it in your child. Put some better food in his table. A better exercise program. Maybe have him join a virtual class like my karate school. That's right now becoming the number one virtual karate program online. Link below. Don't forget to subscribe. All right, here's what I don't agree. Pushing the election to January. No, can't do that. That's dictatorship, right? Why can't I disagree and agree with you? I like that idea, though. That's a good idea. I like that. I'll take it. Push the election over to January. No, that's a bad idea. I don't like that idea. That's dictator stuff. Mm -mm, no good. Good luck to my peeps. If you're in the Northeast, good luck to you guys when winter gets here. And if you're in South Florida or in Florida or in a hot state, put the kids outdoors in the fields. We have these huge fields. Put them out there. Put a tent over them. Put them out there. They'll be safe. All right, guys. That's my talk for today. Don't forget to subscribe and like the video because I need some more likes. You guys are not liking this video enough. Go like the video and subscribe. Later.